All right. It is time for some mystery hour. And oh my god, I'm on time. Let's go ahead and shut this down a little bit. Or turn it down. We're all mad. A thimble full of sanity is all we ever had. All right. Where were we? God, it's been a weekend. It's been one hell of a weekend. And uh, I have been waiting to get in here. We've only solved 18 out of 60 fates. I've talked to a friend of mine, Loki. Everybody knows Loki. And she was telling me that she noticed stuff. And I'm like, oh God, don't tell me. That's the thing with this game, once it's done, it has zero replay value, you know? So spoilers are really painful. I don't, God, I don't even remember what we were doing. We, we just, we just finished up that whole mess. And now we know that that is the shell, right? So we've made progress, but my God, you think you missed the last one? Oh my God. Well, I'm going to upload it, and I believe the last three, because I did three hours on Friday. Oh, well, let me... Eh, I don't need to. The last three I did was... Uh, God, we made it a long ways, and just just crazy shit happened. Just, just lots and lots of crazy shit. Ah... <sighs> So we need to move on to the next mystery, because we just finished this last one. The murder. And it ended way down here. The Orlop deck is what's next, huh? In bitter cold. Where's the Orlop deck? It's the bottom deck, isn't it? No, that's the cargo hold. So we're going two down. And then we get another look at this thing. So, oof. Okay, this is the Orlop. God, you missed, uh, you missed a lot. Now my guess, no, we've, we've done, done that one. My guess is it's probably in the prison. Maybe. Oh, we've done him. Ooh, I made it through. I don't know what that is. Actually, what is that? What am I looking at? Oh, this is the carpenter shop. Which, uh, we have questions. So many questions. And it occurred to me that what will probably end up happening... Oh, I bet this is the chef's... Eh. What will probably end up happening is we're probably going to catch up with everyone. Like, fill out... What? What? The... The cow? What? Seriously? Seriously? Okay, let's let's do it. I guess. I mean, it's a dead body. Let her hear. One swing. Get through the skull in stone or brain. I'll cut her throat when you've done it. Here? Yeah. Come on before she kicks off. You all right there, sir? 
much. Never been on a farm, chap. Mind your shoes now. So, um, this is Charlie. So we know that much. Actually, so that's. It's rare we get that done. Wait, what? Is it me or isn't that who this guy is? No, he's standing next to each other. Okay, who's this? Do we know any of these people? Actually, we finally get a name for that guy. Maybe. What else is going on around here? Let's see who else is in. Well, why do you? Oh, okay. Because you're one of the uh, for, for Suthias. Whoa. What happened to you, friend? And I think that's one of the... No, we don't have a name for him, but we've seen him before. Same with that, huh? Uh, guy with a monkey. Good, good to know. Okay. Location of the corpse is a cow. The cow is slaughtered for its meat. That doesn't help us. But there were ten others? We did not see ten people here. Okay, these three people are distinct. This guy just exploded. He's the gunner's mate. Or is he? We might have that wrong. This guy was spiked. We've seen him dead before. But now we have a name. This guy's name is Charlie. You counted eight? I wonder where the other two are. You know what? J hold your horses there. Dude, we need to identify Charlie here. Because now we know who Charlie is. Tagged by a beast. How many Charlies are there? Bosun's mate. That might actually help us find the bosun. Wait, do we know the bosun? He looks like a bosun. Let's see what other Charlies we have here. Here's another Charlie, a midshipman. Uh-oh. Okay, this guy is Frank. Four of the cow, three indirectly body, okay. Alright. This strikes me as a midshipman because, you know, can you imagine a bosun's mate? Okay, what other Charlies we got? Nothing. I'm going, I think I'm going with midshipman on this. Who, what about you, friend? You were spiked. Wait a second. Is that really you? He was knifed by an unknown attacker. What? We'll get a better, more information about him later. Unknown sold, spiked by a beastie. Although, I think he's like the butcher. I mean, he's got an apron on and everything. And he's cutting the cow's throat. We have this is the gunner's mate. Let's take a real quick look at the manifest. I want to see surgeon, carpenter, cook. We know the cook, the butcher. This could easily be the butcher right here. I mean, it's cutting a cow's neck how much more proof do we need he was spiked by a terrible beast later all right emil o'farrell and then we have this guy right here which we put down as the gunner's mate but might be a midshipman after all same reason can you imagine the gunner's mate doing this We'll take a closer look at this, but for now, I want to actually put this guy down as unknown. Uh, 
All right, now what are we missing? Because that's four. Five and six, we've already identified these two guys. Seven, eight, nine, where's the tenth? Oh, this guy, which we never got a good look at. He's got a monkey, though, so that. And we've tried to identify these two. So I'm pretty sure this is going to be our dead body that we check out next. Yarp. All right, my man. Let's see how you died. It all started with a cow. Mm-hmm. That's really weird looking, but okay, let's continue down this way. Well, same as the other fellow. Some lung disease, not consumption. Made worse by the cold. Will it spread? If so, we'd all have it. They must have picked it up at the Alaska house. I checked all hands just now. Everyone is healthy. And him? <coughs> what are his chances? I gave him some laudanum. We'll see. <coughs> well, he's dead. This is the doc. You're the, uh... Oh, you're Alfred. Who are you? Why, what are you just hanging around? What else is going on around here? Whoa! Um... So that guy... Don't know you. It's that China man again. I assume he's a Chinese man. What else can we discern from all this? You two again. Bright as day out there. Not much in this memory. But who were you? And can I even find out? No, I can't. But we know how you died, sir. You died of some kind of illness. Same as the other fellow, this guy. You died of a cold. Okay, we can ID this guy as a doc now. Good, good, good. We're making progress, man. Fuck yeah. Who is this? How did they die? Well, we don't know who he is, but we can surmise he died of illness. Okay, and we're pretty sure this guy's a doctor. Surgeon, maybe? I think we've had this conversation before. I mean, there's no physician, right? I guess surgeon is about as physician as it can get. And we think he's alive in the Azores. We'll see how right that is. And then we have one more. I want to make sure I know who everybody is. Third mate, Martin Perot. Do we not know how he died? Why is... Strangled by a terrible beast. Can we also guess that this is the surgeon's mate? That's a pretty good guess. I'm going to call that good for now. And then we have these two guys and this poor devil.
Who knows how many of these I have right? Probably none of them. Oh, uh... What? Where? What? Okay, here we go. Okay, last of this chapter. And then, on to the first chapter. So what we got here is this guy got a couple of Russians and I'm not sure what language was that. He said his name was Sayed? Okay, so we got two Russians. What else is going on in here? 58. Also, you know what? These hammocks are labeled. Man, we can probably figure out just by label X what does that mean? And here's 51, so we can identify this guy real easy. His name was Sayed, huh? Let's see, 54? We'll take a closer look at that. Okay, this guy died of illness. So we know that much. Is there a Sayyad? And these guys are... Solomon Sayyad, an Indian. Just want to take a close look. Sayyad, get up, Sayyad, drink something. He was calling him by his last name, not his first name. Solomon! Okay, well... Then let me know who this guy is and how he died. It's oddly easy, actually. Oh, he's got one triangle, so that means he's very easy. And then... Okay, there's the door. But then we've got this guy who's in X? That's very strange. This guy here is in Hammock 51. My guess is he's Russian. He succumbed to a tragic illness. Same guy. All right. So let's take a look at 51. Another Indian. Really? Whoa. All right. Okay, good. I got the butcher right. Sayed. Oh, we've got so long to go, though. Okay. So this guy's Russian. He's got an X on his thing. Why an X? X means 10, but this is not striking me as a carpenter. But we know he's Russian, right? How many Russians do we have on board? Scottish, English, English, Scottish, Formosa, which we've got all of those, pretty much. Uh, Swedish, Ireland, England. Two Russians, three Russian seamen. 45, 46, and 47. So, question... 56, 55, 58. This guy doesn't have a number. Oh, yes, he does. 57. So no go on there. What about over here? 59, 38, 40, 41. 
39. Oh, hey. What's up, boys? Who are you? Unknown. We don't know how he died. And we don't know who he is, but he's... Wait, what? Why? Three triangles. Might be the Russians, but how do we know which one is which? He was shot by with a gun by an unknown attacker. Yeah, I think you're right. I think these are the three Russians. 47... And I can't see the other tags. Yeah. These have got to be the three Russians. Okay, while we're here... Did we get this guy? Yeah, we did. The next one only has a couple of... One, two deaths, roughly. Now, there's not much going on in this chapter. So we got Solomon Syed. Whoop, sorry about that. If you knew their fates, could guess, since the three would give you a step advance. We got uh, this guy. Oh, and the cow. So we actually got everybody, roughly. Wait, now I'm looking at the wrong chapter. No wonder. That was Sanskrit, right? Over here. This guy right here was talking in Sanskrit. That means Indian, right? He's a two triangle. We should be able to. He was crushed by falling cargo a long time ago. So, how many Indians we got on board? And we're pretty sure this guy's a seaman. Uh, we've got one, two, three, four Indians. Two of them have been identified. That leaves Ibrahim Ak Akbar and William Wisson from India. This guy doesn't strike me as a William. We might uh, mark him as a uh, uh, Akbar. Just out of curiosity, any other Indians on board? A couple of Irish. Nope. So... Mm. So, Abraham or William... Stewart. Stewart's? Ship Stewart. Oh, yeah. Zangi. Huh. I haven't seen... See, he pops around a lot. Let me take a look at this again. Stop cheating. Worry about yourself. So these two... Yeah, those, th that group were Russians. Okay. Syed, Syed, get up. Drink something. Would the steward care about the seamen of the crew? I don't know. He is everywhere. Like, how many memories does this guy have attached to him, right? Six memories. 
Not the most we've seen. If I could figure out which one of these was which. Hmm. Trouble. This guy's bugging me. We know how he killed. We know how he was killed. But we don't know which of the three Indians he is. Can we surmise that he came out of here? 53. What is number 53? That's him. That's him. He's number 53. He came out of here to check on Sayed. Okay. We got him. There we go. Crushed by falling cargo. Like, way later. And... Is that everyone? We're gonna have to start doing this. Hang on. While I'm in part one... Wait, this guy's in here? We got that guy. We got that guy. We got a lot of three triangle dudes in here. Wait a second. These are all Indians. Sayed was Indian, right? Yeah. Yeah, he was Indian too. Which means this guy, this guy's the other Indian. This guy's Akbar. He's not the steward because he's not with anybody else, but this is Akbar. God, and he was in a lot, a lot of uh, memories. Yeah, are we at that stage of the game where things are going to start get, getting boring? Don't know him yet. Oop, darn it. I was looking at stuff. Well, we're actually going to do the real meat of detective work, which is paperwork. Still, I'm looking for anyone who is a two triangle or lower and I'm not finding any Lars oh we don't know who he was clubbed by we'll have to check him out later this unknown soul why don't we know who he is where is he Why are there so many people here that I can't see? Like, I only see... Oh, hey. No. No, no. Like, there's supposed to be a ton of people in this memory, but I don't see them. I just see this three and these four. Like, clearly, yeah, their foot is sticking out or something. Oh, oh my God. Don't make me take a look at their... Probably in the hammocks... Does that mean I gotta identify them by their footwear? Oh my god, I do, don't I? H how about no? How about no for now, huh? How about we just mosey on through? <laughs> but there is uh, Lars. I want to see how Lars died. Because by now we've probably identified who clubbed him.
So, okay, that's pointless doing it that way. Instead, let's do it this way. All right. He is, I believe he's a top man. No? I know he, there it is, Lars Linde. Club by Unknown. 49. 10 memories. I want to find out where he died. So I guess the last memory. Perished in the Doom, part one. That's what we're looking for. This is on the top deck. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's see who clubbed you, Lars. Wait a second. I'm starting to remember this. I'm right at it. He was killed by that guy's brother. He killed the guy's brother. Wait. Is this one of those... Yeah. Yeah, you're right. God, what a long-winded way to finish him off. And we still don't know who this guy is. We just know he fell to his death. Uh, no, thank you, because we get, I'm, I, that involves me figuring out who that three-triangle guy is. Let's finish this up. Let's finish the book up so that we can actually start getting into the meat of this whole thing, which is trying to figure out who the, the three triangle guys are. So this all starts on the cargo deck. God damn. My guess in here, but I don't see anything. That's a leg. We've already seen that. got four doors. Let's try door number one. Okay, this is the captain's cargo. I don't see any human remains in here, so probably not. Let's go for door number two. This feels more like general cargo, which is fine, which is fine. See some ropes. I see weights, I think they are. What? What am I looking at here? Is it on the other side of the wall? Before I do that, am I just looking at something on the other side of the wall and this is glitching out, or are they too smart for that? Now, we've seen how you died. What? What? Wait. No, that is it. That is it. It is this barrel. But I have questions. I don't see any remains. What remains am I determining the death of? Like, okay, there's a missing barrel. Okay. What? The 
this is so fucking not not fair. How am I supposed? Okay, he was crushed by cargo. Oh, uh, hello everyone. Whoa. Oh, it's you. Man, you're everywhere as well. We gotta figure out a name for you. So this guy was crushed to death by cargo. Okay, we know you. We've got your name. Yeah. And something going on over here. Okay, this guy was just lifting cargo. He's probably just a regular seaman. And then there's this guy. Who was one of the Russians. Okay, uh... Wow. Corpse was moved post-mortem? And what? Thrown in... Where... Unidentified stowaway. Expecting free passage from eventual freedom was instead crushed inside a falling barrel. Twelve other persons were present. But wait, there's more. So the answer to who the hell is this guy? Whoa! We don't know who this guy was. But we know how he died, but why won't it give me an option to, to list how he died? Is that the stowaway? In which case, this was during the ship, like, how did the artist draw him? And then, yeah, and then there's, like, this. Like, that's everybody. I'm having trouble pinning down who people are. You didn't uncover his death. He's not the stowaway. Okay. Well, I've, I have uncovered his death. He's dead here. Oh, wait. This is the dead body that the watch wants me to see. Ah. Lordy, lordy, lordy. All right. And here is the first guy killed on the ship. And we've got a lot of details involved into this. So where's the stowaway? I think that's the story right there. And then this guy happened, and he's just like, Man, I saw two deaths, and I didn't even know which one's which. Hey, there's Lars. I'm having a problem sort of pinning onto some of these people. Not that it helps. I wish I could climb up and get a closer look at what snapped and why. And then there's this guy. Not much more information here. And what's worse is that kind of completes this chapter, and except for the bargain, the entire book. So... Fuck. Well, we're gonna have tr a hard time figuring out who he is, considering that he's just in this memory. But we know that he was crushed by Cargo. This may be the guy who killed Lars' brother. Or not the brother thing, but the clubber's brother with the ropes. 
Oh my god, you're right. So we're looking for brothers. Peters, Shirley O'Hagan, Booth. Brennan, not Brennan. O'Hagan, Booth, Dion, not one of these. Peters, Nathan Peters and Samuel Peters are brothers, and they're both semen. Which one's which? Which one's Nathan and which one's Samuel, though? Right. Right, with the ropes. Which means that Lars... He blamed Lars for the ropes. So Nathan Peters or Samuel Peters, huh? That's really good detective work there, Vern. Yep, that's them. But which one's which? Let's try something. Let's tr let's. This guy looks like a Nathan, right? Let's take a closer look at this guy real quick. Fifteen memories. He was there almost to the very end. Bookmark all those memories. Now let's go on a little trip of this guy. We're not going to go through the individual memories. That would be crazy. He was there in this one, in the cargo deck. So where the hell is he? He should be easy to find. He's bald as hell. Yeah, this is going to be a tough one to figure out who's who. Well, we could guess, but I don't want to rely entirely on a guess. Where is he? Is he up there somewhere? Is that him? No, that guy got hair. That guy's got hair. I think that's him right there. I can't get a good look. I can't get a bead on him, though. So, meanwhile... Okay, yeah, that makes sense. He was in this one. He was also in here. He was in one of the things. This is it. This is how we find him. Nate and Sam. Sam is number 60. 60 was not on any of the things. What about Nate? 48. Let's be certain, but I think that's it. If 48 is on this one, the bitter cold first one, then this is Nathan. So let me remember where this was. That's right, he's the wrapped up corpse on the Orlop deck. Okay, let's do this. And we will finally get him and Lars down. And it looks like I'm lagtastic right now, I apologize. Well, that's the whole book. Except for the bargain. We're missing the bargain. Whoa. What? What? Get in there somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Storm's coming. What? Finish your business and climb down here. Storm's coming. Man, I haven't even finished. What kind of storm? That's the corpse I'm looking for, but in a second. Uh. Okay. Okay. 
So, cool. Alright. We're looking for number 48. Forty-eight. Uh, Fifty-eight. Fifty-five. Fifty-seven. Fifty-six. Let's look over here. That's right, the three Russians. That might just be a mix-up. Like, we just go around and around to see who's who. But we don't know how he died. Thirty-seven. Forty-two. Thirty-six. Ah, I can't get a close enough look on these. Thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, thirty-eight, fifty-nine. I'm at a loss here. Forty-eight, Nathan Peters, or. 60, Samuel Peters. I haven't seen a 60. Did you guys see a 60? Not yet. A 42. There's no 60s or 42s. Our hypothesis is kind of out of steam now. Didn't we find some guy that was X? Yeah, what does that mean, X? Yeah, we've identified this guy. I think. So, I've got nothing. Although I suspect looking at everybody's feet might be something we have to do. Take a quick look. 58, right? So this is Patrick O'Hagan. 57. Frozen my end? Oh yeah. I'm um, sorry. It uh, looks like the, uh, the stream is hella broken right now. Good God. Did, did my internet shut off? Um... God damn it, 57. Alexander Booth. Yeah, everything broke. 55. Handu Dion from Sierra Leone. So that's that guy. Ah, uh, I need to tell him. Alright. Not sure how it's uh, still recording all of this, even though my internet borked. So, that's weird. 56. Henry. Henry was knifed. I think. And that was an okay. Henry Bennon, that's right. Okay, I'm back. Yay! Figured that guy out. 59. George Shirley. 38. 38. He's a top man. What's he doing? Oh, that's Hong Lee. And might be my imagination, but it looks like an empty. Either he's really light or that's an empty uh, hammock. 41. That's Whaley, 40. 
That's Li Hong. Okay, this is the Chinese group, 39. Uh, Ji Zeng. I don't see Nathan anywhere. 36. That's Omid Gol. He's a Persian. Uh, 37. That's Timothy from Scotland. 42. That's Nicholas. He's dead. Well, I mean, he was speared by the beastie. Oh, man. I don't see Peters anywhere in here. So... Shit. But that makes the most amount of sense that he's one of the Peters. I just can't figure out where he is. Is he upstairs? Was there an upstairs and we missed it? There is an upstairs, but we didn't miss it. It just isn't there. Unless this is him. Which would be pretty mean. That would be pretty mean to put that there. Without giving us a chance to look. Okay, screw it. I'm saying this guy's Nate Peters. Yep. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> oh, but we're not done. If that was Nate Peters, then that means that this is Samuel Peters. And if that was Samuel Peters, it means that... Where is Lars? Lars was knifed by Nate Peters. Chat's not showing up. That's weird, because it's showing up on my end. Man, everything on this internet is bork today. So, okay. Everybody is unblurred now. We should be able to figure out who everybody is and how they died and so forth. In theory. But there's some things like these two. Actually, when did they disappear? disappeared in the escape because I was told something about this I was told that there was a baby That could be located here. Try and refresh your browser. Weird. And I think it's time we took a look at that. Oh. Whoa. I think this is it. We need the newest one. This one. Okay. So I want to take a look at this, because we should be able to figure out which of these women is which. Let them go. She's got a boomstick. I don't see a baby. Is that the dock? Yeah, that's Henry Evans, the surgeon.
Okay, I'm thinking this is a miss. So there are two women, right, in the passenger section. Emily Jackson and Miss Jane Bird. And I'm thinking this is a miss. And the other one is an Emily. And I'm going to kind of go with that. But I clearly got it wrong where they are alive at. They escaped. Uh, where is that again? Emily Jackson. And then I guess... This guy, where's the baby? I don't see a baby. Wish I could get down there and take a look, closer look. I don't have a name for you. He's been around though. I'm gonna have to do some tracking down on each individual level. Maybe she's holding a baby? I don't know. I can't say for sure. So, wait a second. Okay, no, we, we got a name for those three. So, if we have those right, we should have that thing right now. But that's... That's not working. Started in Europe, Britain. I don't remember which part of Britain that is. Moved down to here. Hit the Canary Islands. Things got crazy. They started turning around. Sort of the sea. And then it started going that way. So they were supposed to go down here, but they never made it that far. They made it about as far as the Canary Islands. And then we've got the escape. That could be at uh, Madeira or the Azores. What if we say that they're all f in Madeira? Let's try that. Now we're metagaming, right? Alive. There is no Madeira options. I could say they landed in Africa. Or the Canary Islands. There it is. Oh my god, I just realized. This is Emily. She's alive in Africa. Why is she Emily? Because she's not a miss. She looks older. She's a missus. This is Miss Jane Bird. She's alive in Africa. So yeah, as far as the baby, I don't know. And I don't know who this guy is, so we'll come back to him. Where, how do I get out of here? Oh, I could just do this. Oh, okay, what? <laughs> last one. Move quick. You're not the last one. <laughs> There's that guy, but what I want to take a look at... I still don't see a baby. But see that right next to the... Uh, right next to the doctor. Just to his left is a suitcase. That is the exact same case that this book and watch was in. Have I got you two identified? 
We don't know who this guy is. He was shot with a gun by an unknown attacker. We might go after him next. This is the first mate, Stuart, which I'm pretty sure we got right, but we don't know who killed him. So this guy's identity will identify this guy. And what are we? We're, we're at an hour. So that's kind of the end of the mystery hour, but we made a lot of progress, even though it's kind of effing crazy. So let's go down here. Oh, lots of progress, and we filled in the book, and now it's time to fill in quite a few names. Right? That is less than half. We have less than half filled. But... We made just a ton of progress anyway. So, okay. Let's call that good for this hour. And yeah. That was a lot of fun. Thank you for joining me today. And thank you for anybody who showed up in the stream. Thank you, Vern. Thank you, Doomlad. Anybody else who might be watching. Anybody who's watching on YouTube, thank you for spending a little bit of your time with me, making it to the very end. And, uh, yeah. I will talk at you guys tomorrow. Apocalypse is drawing there. We're